Hello, and welcome to the stream. Hello to Paraffin, SQ Ron, Dreddy, Ritu, and Holly. Thank you all for joining, and can you see me and hear me well? Everyone in the chat likes the colour purple. This is probably true. Purple, yeah, Purple's a lovely colour. Now, I've started this up in a private group, so I, I think I know how that works. Basically, if you're on my friends list, then, uh, then you can just join and we'll be in the same universe. Um, and if you're not on my friends list, then feel free to send a request and I'll add you. So yeah, today I'm going to be piloting uh, this this little thing. Well, not that little. Uh, it's Python. Just going to be doing some mining in some picturesque locations. Uh, damn it, I tried to remember the name. Somebody in the Discord suggested a... Um, a place, uh, wait, it was just here, Jovan, Jovan has suggested that I choose uh, a, a, a system to, to do some mining in, which should be nice. Dreddy, only thing about playing Elite D myself is my pumpkin bobblehead on the dashboard, oh, I'll still enjoy it, yeah, that's good, can neither see nor hear me, oh, SQ, Parafine can't hear me, can everyone else hear me okay? Very massive six to hologram UI stuff, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I've not actually played Jovan aka Star Cloak. Oh that's Star Cloak, okay. Uh you are not late. I've just started Star Cloak. Thank you for the suggestion. Uh it's a, it's a lovely um Yes, I'm at the i I'm at the place you suggested. I didn't click that, that was that was you in the in the Discord, even though you probably told me. <laughs> you know what I'm like with memory and names and so forth. I don't know why I went into this. So I'm already set up. Let's. Uh, I'm at Weaver Terminal. This is uh, in orbit of a lovely little Earth-type planet. Uh, you're welcome to join, Starcloak. Uh, I'll just be doing some mining, though. It's not really. I mean, I could do some other stuff, but at least to start with, I'm going to be doing some mining. Disengage from landing pad. Maintain correct lane on exit. Correct lane. Screw that. Oops. Maximum speed! <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Okay. So we're in orbit around this lovely Earth-like planet. But the thing that makes this actually quite special is that this Earth-like planet has a ring system. However, I'm not sure if we'll even be able to see it. Because... Like, we'll be, we'll be uh, perpendicular to the rings in this... Uh, In, in the orbital plane of the uh, of the station, let's just get a nice look at the ship and the station here. This is the one thing that I always love about this game. Look at this! Look at this! I mean, my graphic settings aren't even aren't even turned up that high, and I can only I can't reliably run this in 60 frames per second. So this is why the stream is at 30 frames per second. Red Dwarf voice, exactly, yeah. <laughs> this is the way. Yeah, my command... Oh, my commander name is simply Jim. And, uh, yeah, just Jim. J-I-M. I was a, a backer, so I was able to get a, get a name. Wait, oh yeah, can you barely see that? Like, horribly anti-alias line? That infinitely thin line that's turning into pixels? That's the ring system. <laughs> it's so ridiculously th thin. Okay, new friend request. Uh, I've got six friend. I haven't. Okay, let's just let's just accept everyone, including Brazzers. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. Whoops. All right. Let's go to Super Cruise. <laughs> that is Holly, in fact, from Red Dwarf. And I have a little uh, sort of personal goal in this stream is to earn enough arcs, which is the sort of in-game currency, like the, the premium currency that you use to like get skins and stuff. You can earn it in-game or you can purchase it. Um, but I've almost got enough to get a green skin for this ship and uh, I've already called it Starbug so I think that will be quite appropriate. The game has changed a lot uh, since uh, well, a fair bit since release, Nebuchadnezzar. 
How do we join your group? I don't know. Um, I think you just have to, when you start up the game, you have to, let me see if I can... Uh, I mean, I could just go into open play. That could work. But then we might end up in different instances. I think you have to kind of cut, go to the main menu and then come back out. So look at this place, look. This is a ring, it's got a ring system around an Earth-like planet. How cool is that? And you can see the gas giant off in the distance there. 27G Kaelis. Okay. I think you have to add all of us to your group. I've got it to automatically approve requests. At least I think I did. Um, I don't know how to do it. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't let me do anything. Um, if it doesn't work, we'll, we'll try to fix it. But um, I have to add you. okay. All right, let's try that quickly. Um, all right, I'll have to come out of this. I have to come out of. I think I have to come out of Super Cruise to go back into the, into the menu. I might as well wait till I get to the Afro Asteroid Field. Um, oh, I sh uh, before I do that, I'm gonna have to scan. I'm not gonna have to. I'm going to scan the rings. See if there are any hot spots for. Wait, why isn't that? There we go. So you send this little probe. It will scan the rings for. Um, Hello, Stuntman Jack. Des, am I yoking? I don't know what you mean. Do you mean joking? <laughs> um, or, do you, or is that some kind of egg reference? Has that worked? I'm not sure. Hmm. Um, let's just let's just drop somewhere in the rings. It doesn't matter where. Ah, there we go. Now let's see if we get any. Ah uh, yes, a Rod Plum site uh, hotspot. So this should be where s some of the Rod Plum site will be available. I don't know if these are real minerals, but they sound very silly. <laughs> okay, let's slow down a bit. Yoke stick. Ah, no, I am using this. <laughs> it's not very advanced, but it does the job. Okay, I'm maybe going a bit fast for this. Oh dear. No, I think we'll be okay, maybe? Okay, yeah, we're fine. Okay, I'm going to come out of this and go to the main menu right now. So that hopefully we can get the... Uh, private group set up properly. Okay, uh, continue. Oh, is it under social? Uh, groups. Okay, I already have three members. Ruha can gloom ready. Okay, manage group. Okay, automatically approve requests from friends. That's set. So hopefully, you should be able to request to join, and it should work. Um. Okay, invite to private group. There we go. Okay, I've just accepted every friend request because I don't know who's who. Really? The Thargoids are still in the game. Um, at least you can't get attacked by giant mutant pigs in space. Not yet. That's coming in a future update, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah. The periodic table has probably expanded a lot in time. It takes mankind to explore the stars. Yeah, maybe, but I don't know. I think the... Um, I think a lot of these minerals are... Uh, I mean, most, most things that exist um, on the periodic table and most things beyond that at least that we found recently are very unstable like the only things we can create in a lab for like a nanosecond and then they immediately decay so I don't know if we'd find too many other elements out there definitely other compounds other molecules and look at this look at this oh my god isn't that beautiful we're in the ring system of a, of a of an Earth-like planet in the shadow in the in the sunlight, that's <laughs> amazing. Thargoids sound like something once you get checked out by a doctor. Yeah, you. I'm afraid you really got Thargoids. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to operate. <laughs> the Thargoid. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anything? By the way, uh, is the chat that I've got displayed over the? It's a bit. Hmm, it's a bit screwed up. Um, 
the the sort of chat over the over the game is that annoying or is that is the position of that okay so to do mining you first use your pulse wave scanner and that highlights the uh, mining has changed quite a bit uh, it highlights the, uh, the the asteroids which have fissures and surface deposits and stuff like that um, and I still don't really haven't got really the hang of it as far as um, finding out which ones the good ones are let's turn on the ship lights I can't remember how to do this there we go okay N then you, s <laughs> you fire a limpet drone a prospector drone and then this will analyze prospector limpet Engaged. The uh, the asteroid. Okay, so this has some surface deposits. Asteroid scan complete. So we can use our abrasion blaster. Oops. To blast off chunks of it, and then you can either use your cargo skip and go collect them yourself, or you can just scan use detected. what? Someone here. It's a system authority vessel, or it's. I don't know what it is. Usually, if it's a pirate, they stupidly announce their presence. It's probably the uh, the, uh, the system authority. I've never actually found a thargoid in the game. Uh, okay, just programming these collector drones. They'll just grab the the rocks and bring them back to me. Got to lower my cargo scoop as well. There we go. These aren't too valuable, but I'm not really concerned with, with the most uh, high-value targets here. I'm just just doing this for, for a bit of a chill chat session. Yeah, limpet. Isn't that what I said? Limpet drones. But there's different kinds. So there's collector limpets, there's prospector limpets, there's hatchbreaker limpets. Now, some of the uh, asteroids you can actually break apart with seismic charges. And that is so cool, but they're really hard to find. At least I don't know how to find them reliably. Um, so, let's take a look outside our ship and we can see little drones coming to drop the stuff off. And then they've run out of stuff to drop. Okay. Yeah, and so once you've, you've got to, you have to have a refinery on your ship and then oh yeah that's not worth much 710 credits chemical formula K lithium uh, aluminium rubidium aluminium silicon oxygen yeah it's some kind of complex complex molecule oh yeah the word limpet yeah you don't hear it much in uh, <laughs> it's, it's I don't know yeah what is it from the name comes from a marine creature that skips to, uh, sticks to ship hulls. Yeah, that makes sense. Sounds so much like limping. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, oops. I always screw that up. When you've got your cargo scoop down, you can't... Um, can't move as fast for some reason. Um, okay. See, now the brightness of these should tell us... You can also just do a visual inspection. So if we look closely at this, oh, not too closely. <laughs> Remember the first time I played this on, on YouTube, I, I accidentally boosted into an asteroid because I pressed the wrong button. Okay, so if you can see fissures, which look like decals on the texture, essentially, then it might be able to break it apart, but I don't see any, like anything particular. Okay, let's keep scanning. So it's a bit slow. All the gameplay in this is kind of slow, except for the combat, which is frantic and maddening. Okay, there's a nice bright one. It's a limpet, isn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, now that looks promising. It's got these little red spots on it. I think. Yeah. Maybe. Let's prospect it. You know, so you can always you can always get something out of it if it's one of the glowy ones, but Okay. So this one has 
subsurface deposits. Asteroid scan complete. Which we can use these sort of mining missiles to penetrate inside. And this, I just realised this will actually appear below the chat in the thing. It's so you might be able to see some of it. So basically, you drill into the surface, and then, oops, <laughs> then you get this display, and you need to release it when it's in the blue, and then a chunk flies out, and then it gets collected. Make sure to let in some fresh air into the cockpit every once in a while. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have had the cockpit break on a few occasions. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Ready. I remember when we played this last time? It was too lazy to do anything but be the gunner and your ship got so screwed so bad in combat you couldn't afford repairs so we stopped. I don't remember that but it's an old dear. That was that was close. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fluently asteroid. <laughs> I'm still not the greatest pilot in the world, in the galaxy. Um, yeah, the multi crew is fun though. You know, you do get like bonuses for it and and stuff, but like. Don't feel bad. Like I, I, I get killed in combat on occasion. I and uh, on the occasions I don't get killed in combat, it's usually because I've run away successfully. So, yeah, mining has come a long way since you're just shooting these with mining lasers. Don't even bother with the mining lasers anymore because it's just it's slow and kind of dull, and you don't get much out of it. Okay, let's. Uh, Let's head towards the planet, shall we? Might as well. Yeah, nice view as we go. Seems we've turned ourselves upside down relative to the to the way we were. Of course, this way there's no light on the asteroids; they're all silhouettes. But look at that! That's something. Clips there. <laughs> Yeah, so I could do some other stuff in this game. I could go exploring or land on a planet or get into some fights. If there's anything you particularly want to see, let me know. Right now, I'm just going to do some mining. Just a chill stream, really. It's a pretty good... I've been thinking about what games I should do in the long term if I'm going to keep doing this. And... Uh, I don't know if this will be one of them, but it's. Uh, I think it's it's good to have something that doesn't require complete total attention all the time, so that I can actually look at the chat. You want to see me wreck some pirates, Choco Socks? Welcome to the stream, by the way. Uh, what can you do on the surface of a planet? Uh, you can. You should laser fight every viewer who managed to find you. <laughs> That's a bit mean. <laughs> and also, I would die. <laughs> Um, yeah, on the surface of a planet, you can um, you can sort of drive around on this little buggy and uh, a surface reconnaissance vehicle, SRV, and um, you can find like resources and, and you can also find sort of crash starships and installations and weird stuff. Mostly, it's pretty. Um, oh damn it! I think they they just run out of they run out of juice. Coltan is not very valuable either, but like I said, I'm not really doing this for the for the money. I just like mining. It's a lot more fun now, and it's pretty relaxing. Hopefully, it's not too uninteresting to watch. Not to self bring Clipper next time. <laughs> Clipper, what? Damn it! Actually, let's um, let's see if we can see our friends on the galactic map here. Aha! Nearby is Commander Statira Ilas Star Cloak, <laughs> and I don't think anyone else is online right now. At least not in the group. Okay. Oh wait, 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 wait. No. 
There is someone here. Uh, damn it. Oh, I should just use the mouse. Ritu! He's in the system! Cool. Yeah. Zero light years away. <laughs> Resources unallocated. Okay, that means I need to mess with my refinery here. Uh, basically, if you run out of bins, you have to kind of dump something. Um, what am I actually... Coltan, Uranonite, Lipidotite... These names. Let's just dump the bauxite. There we go. Okay. Did they ever say do much about landing on planets with atmospheres? It's been, um, it's yeah. It's, so far, you can only land on planets without atmospheres, and apparently, it's going to come at some point, but no one knows when. There is a new update coming re this year, relatively soon. Um, but uh, the rumours about what that's about is space legs, which basically means the ability to get out of your ship and walk around in first person, like around space stations, and do possibly do EVAs and stuff like that to repair your ship, and that's kind of cool. Oh, that kind of screwed up. Yeah, that's true. SQ Ron, I made the mistake of adding an Earth bobblehead to my ship. I only now learned it covers my radar. Oh God, that's no good. Should be able to get a refund on that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I always found Planet Side gameplay boring. Has anything changed there? Not really. This, this, I've, I don't know. Oops, that that Fisher kind of expired. Um. Collector limpet expired. Yeah. Um. There's a few things like this. This whole thing with the Guardians, like these these other alien race. Like you can go to. Damn it. You can go to their systems and find like ruins like still active and do stuff there to get like re to get technology. It's kind of a weird puzzle solving thing, but it, I find it really obtuse and confusing and I don't really like know what to do. Like you have to basically look up online guides to tell you everything, but there are players who figured it out themselves just through like trial and error, but I don't find that very interesting. Okay, that screwed up. Is that blooming bobblehead world on the dash door dashboard? Yeah, I suppose you can get rid of it, but... If I dock, it doesn't move, so it doesn't... If I dock, I can move it so it doesn't obscure my radar. Oh! Oh, okay. Yeah, you can put it somewhere else. Okay. Well, that's good. But I guess you can't do that until you dock. <laughs> Glad I got to see this for a minute, but I have other things going on today. Sadly, enjoy your mining space. Thank you for joining, uh, Holly. Let's just see you. Okay. Um, oh wait, I, I I've got all these bits hanging around. And I haven't collected them. Okay, one second. Let's just get a nice look at things. <laughs> this is as a screenshot generator. This this game is is amazing, if nothing else. I mean, look at this. You know, how is that not amazing? Just bringing in little rocks, <laughs> little limpets flying around, asteroids hovering, spinning. Yeah. <laughs> Could get lost in the in the beauty of it all. All right. Um, now the hotspot. It's not. For, I mean, it says it's 11 kilometers away, but it's not really that reliable, as far as I know. Like the hotspot is kind of huge, so there's no guarantee it's going to be like at the actual center of it. It's kind of a more Diffuse thing, but I really want to see if I can find an asteroid I can blow apart because I really like to show you that because that's cool. So if anyone knows how to, um, yeah, all right. Anyone knows how to, sp or if anyone can spot, anyone who knows this stuff can spot a, a breakable asteroid. Um, as I go through this, oh god, there's a lot. Okay, but 
because it's it's always the same exact or not it's like one of a few different like actual models because it needs to be able to break apart like it needs to actually be programmed to do that essentially so you know and you can apparently you can tell if you know what to look for with the uh, just the way they show up on the pulse wave scan but I can't I can't reliably figure it out that one looks really bright. Look at that. So you'd think that means it's got like so much in it. But I can't see any fishes. Just looks like a plain asteroid to me. I don't see anything. Let's prospect it anyway. I mean, this, yeah, the serene music helps, not for screenshots, but it would be great for one of those, like, ambiences videos, you know, you see those, um, like, uh, Skyrim ambiences and stuff, like, it just shows, like, a part of the world and some... Oh! Shit! <laughs> I just crushed my limpet on the... It was hovering below me and I squished it. Good thing I have shields. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Wing invitation received. Okay. Cool. So yeah, I guess we could do some wing stuff. I don't know what what that would really involve, but because I think you can do mining in a wing, but. <laughs> Squishing a limpet sounds like a euphemism. It does, really. <laughs> I, I mean, as far as I know, the, the main reason to be in a wing is to do combat and stuff. Like, you get additional bonuses and stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to necessarily do this for like two hours because that would probably be boring. Damn it. Aha! Two as well. Okay. Yeah, because this this ship is not really outfitted for combat. Like three of the hard points are mining tools rather than real weapons. So I could always go and get my uh, uh, go and get my vulture. Damn it! Oh, I keep forgetting to look at the fact that those. Uh, Expire. Whoop. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that was foolish. I'm not the best pilot. I'm out of ammo for my dispersion missiles. Okay. Well, that's too bad. Wait a minute, I'm not. Oops. My collector limpets are not doing their job because they're all dead. Yeah, I've got plenty of them, but I've run out of dispersion missiles, so that's no good. Let's see, I've got to alert my cargo scoop, which I was confused with my landing gear. <laughs> okay. So, what shall we do? Refinery full. Oh, come on. Um, Samarium. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we got there. Let's see what the actual re actual stuff we have. Hmm. It's not very high value. It's really not. You're in a night cold tent. Like some of these can you can get like a hundred thousand per unit from the stuff you can break open. Which site am I? I am at a rod plum site. Hotspot. It's not one of the actual resource gathering sites, um, but I could come to one of them. I could go to one of the actual because they're probably more interesting. Uh, I, I need to refill my um, my abrasion blaster anyway. Activate wing beacon. Okay. How do I do that? Is it this? There we go. Okay. Wing beacon activated. 
Yeah, there's no, there's no one here, so I could always just head to an actual uh, resource extraction site because they like to have pirates, which means actual fighting, which would be more fun. I'm still mass locked. Okay. I think. I think uh, you might have just arrived and I left. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah, let's let's go to one of the resource extraction sites. Not hazardous. That just doesn't seem like a good idea at all. But where is it? <laughs> oh, this isn't making anyone motion sick. Where is it? Hmm, let's get some distance. If I just do this, this would be easier. Take a look. Oh, I can't actually see the overlays. In the Whoa! Someone just buzzed me! <laughs> I think that might have been one of our friends. Yeah, I can't. I can't see where it is. Um, oh, I think it's because it's part of the. It's part. It's. It's not actually. It's getting for. Oh, it's one of these. It's at the actual. Um, gas giant. So let's go there. Go to the gas giant rather than the. Come on, I'm going to just drop what. Search and rescue patrol. Oh. Is that someone? It's just a. Uh... It's just um. An AI. Oops. So anyone in chat who actually plays, Elite dangerous or uh, are you all uh. Not gamers of this game. Oops. Going a bit fast. There we go. Only watching from time to time. Used to, but not anymore. Suburban Fox, yeah, I seem to remember you were uh, played. I am hoping that the new update will. Actually, that's in darkness. Do we really want to do that one? Is there another one? Maybe there was one in the in the other. No, that's also. I want to do one in the dark. They're all they're all in the same place. Okay. I think that the the word in the um in the in the in the brackets is it means um. The danger. Yeah, I seem to remember that suburban fox. That was that was a long time ago. <laughs> what was that 2015 or earlier? I don't even remember when this game came out. It look, it's weird because it looks like there's a gap in the rings, but it's just it's just it's a shadow. Okay, this is uh, this is bad. This is bad. I'm gonna have to. Okay. <laughs> I'm not good at this game. <laughs> okay. This should be okay. Flying at warp speed into the rings. I like that the game actually um, allows you to travel at what is essentially warp speed, but not always faster than the light. So you can use it to get around at just, you know, normal speed. Like a few hundred kilometers per second. Aha! Wind frame rate shift thingy detected. Okay. Yes. Ah, you're in an eagle. Oh, is that the ISS Earth Transcendent? <laughs> is that an Imperial Eagle? I seem to remember. Oh, you're dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> I am merely competent, I think. Oh, okay. 
Hello, Ritu. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Pete McKenzie. This is not a player. Oh, it's a master. Give me seven tons of that cargo. No, I don't think so. Uh, hang on a minute. Nope. Uh, I always forget how to do this. Switch cockpit mode. Okay, this guy's going to want to fight. Ha, ah, the fight has already begun. Yeah, he's wanted, so it's alright to shoot him. That's how the law works. That is bright. Now he's using chaff. He's diverting power to weapons. <laughs> Under oh no. <laughs> oh! That was a close one. Hopefully this won't make you motion sick. This can all stop if you give me seven tons of cargo. I don't think so, mate. You're about to explode. The AI is really rather silly. <laughs> Look at this ship. Oh dear. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Yeah, the authority seems to have arrived as well, so... This, this... They have no chance to survive. Make your time. Ha! There we go. Oh! Look at that bounty! What a lovely bounty. Look at the wreckage. <laughs> oh, and now someone else wants some. Okay. This guy. This is what happens if you're carrying anything. They'll risk their lives for such a meager amount of shit. Oh! <laughs> That's never happened to me before. Ah, this damn chaff. It doesn't. It doesn't work against unguided. Oh, damn it! Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is not good. My shields are down. I'm gonna have to do some nausea-inducing. Uh, actually, it'd be much nicer if I did like this. Yeah, that's less good for actually flying, though. It's just okay. Uh, yeah, I'm in serious trouble. I'm, I'm in serious, serious trouble. Shit. Um. I'm gonna have to. I'm sorry about the nausea, but it's the only way. Damn it. Uh. Damn it. Damn it! Ah. <sighs> well, fortunately, I can afford to repurchase my ship, but that's four million credits and four and a half million credits. I'm down. Oh, I can't afford to let that happen again. <laughs> I'm so bad at combat. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I lost all that cargo as well, of course. Yeah. Oh well. Um. Hmm. That's a little disheartening, but never mind. Uh, see, this is why I mine in nice, isolated, non-exist, you know, non-resource uh, extraction zones because. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, the ship is not really designed for combat. It can do it, but it's a mining ship. So. <laughs> T 
Taking votes on what to do next. Shall I do some exploring? Or just do some more mining? I wouldn't mind visiting the Pleiades actually. There's a location might be nice around there. So yeah, this is my last port, I think. No, Homer Hub. I've never been here. It's a cool system. It's got all these ring planets. This one has metal rich rings, major reserves, metal rich, metallic. Hmm. I think I accidentally shot the space police as well, which didn't help. Yeah. This, I was ready. This is pretty much what happened last time we played. Just that you didn't have the creds to rebuy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was rough. Okay. Conflict zone. Seriously? I mean, you're actually at less risk there because, you know, it's. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. The. The. Um. You know, you're in a you're in a battle that exists already. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to summon my uh, Vulture right now. Let's restock. And uh, let's see how much will that cost. Oh, fucking hell. It'll cost me half a million credits just to get it from Shinra to Desra. I could just go there. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do now. I'm just gonna go back to mining, because <laughs> that's what I that's what I said I would do, and it's safe, relatively. <laughs> I do want to show you the. Um, The um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, the exploding rocks. Landing gear retracted. You know, blowing up in a shock, a, sh a, a rock with uh, some seismic charges. Wait, that's wrong. Not galaxy map. So I don't know if you guys want to stick around for that because it's not going to be too exciting um, to actually join in. in the mining, because I'm assuming your ships are not fitted out for mining it's fighter craft um, yeah, oh sorry I, di I didn't expect to do combat it's just that was what was happening at the uh, <laughs> at the resource extraction zone um, you know so <laughs> So I'm gonna go to I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to mining and I'm gonna try to do it somewhere. Oh wow! You almost went down too, Starclug. Statiera, Eisenhower. Isn't that I I Eisenhower? Isn't that the um? NPCs are tough against Eagle, right? Isn't that the name of one of the Imperial like power families? Seem to remember. This game is unpredictable, don't feel bad. Yeah. I mean, it keeps it interesting. It does keep it interesting. Um, but, like, if I get killed in this ship again, I'm not going to have enough to re to rebuy. So, if I get into combat, I'm going to immediately turn my tail and run. Surface scan complete. Yeah. Surface scan complete. Nope, I just picked it up for looking for the new surnames. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> We know if you go the Walter way and say what's mine is mine, you gotta have a bowling ball ready to hurl. What the hell is that a reference to? Welcome to the stream, Tibutel. I don't know if I, if you were here before. Um, Statira was the name of Alexander the Great's queen. Oh, okay, I should have known it would be a historical reference. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Trojan orbit. Look at that. These two planets really close to each other with with offset um, offset rings. That doesn't seem realistic, but it's cool. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> nice. Conflict zone. Yeah, I don't think so. 
See, when you say Walter, I just think of Walter White, but I don't think that's what you mean. Did he hurl a bowling ball? I'm going to swap ships. Fair enough. Oh, too fast. Okay. Alright, slow down. The whole discovery system has changed quite a bit as well. So this sort of scanner, this was not a thing before. Let's just scan the planet while we're here. As well as the ring. So he launched these missiles at different, uh, well, probes. Different angles and they have like a... Got still at least one beam for self-defense. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> I think, yeah, in an eagle or, a, or you know, you don't have many... Uh, options, do you? Like, actually, this is going to be hard to get a complete scan of because it's pretty big. Anyway, let's just leave it at that. Okay, so we have a bunch of hotspots here. Um, I think most of them are not in the metallic part. Oh no. That's good enough. Serendid bite. Monazite. Monazite. I really don't know which one of these are good. Oh, that's right by the resource extraction site. Okay. Benitoit. Benitoit. <laughs> it's from the Big Lebowski. Yeah, I have seen that, but it's been a while. <laughs> Shut up, Donnie. <laughs> I remember that part. I think that's his name, yeah. I think he said it a bit more rudely than that, in fact. <sighs> yeah, I'm still not sure what I think of this game. It's one of these games where you can play it for like a hundred hours and still not be sure if you like it. But, you know, it's a lot of downtime, but I was hoping that like that would make make it okay for a stream game because I can like actually engage with the chat more effectively and you know um, right, sort of lighten up the dull points <laughs> I shouldn't really be looking to you to entertain me though that kind of seems the wrong way around but I don't know <laughs> but the, yeah, the whole point of it is the is the of the streaming is the chat you know, like otherwise it might as well just be a video. Okay, so these are just sort of standard asteroids. Okay, figured we're gonna do mining, so you stripped it. Yeah, sorry. I figured you were my defense force against the pirates. You know, <laughs> forget a beam. I'm breaking out the advanced plasma accelerator. Right. What? Yeah, I'm not a good leader. Because now I've gone back to like peaceful mining, and there's going to be no one around. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's get let's get into the belt. Oh, there is a ship there. It looks like a miner, maybe. A uh, system authority vessel. That's okay. Yeah, it's going to scan me just to see if I'm a dodgy boy. I'm not. I'm clean. I'm a nice boy. Okay, that. Scan detected. That looks a bit green. That's weird. Let's do a visual inspection. I don't see any. Okay, there's a surface deposit. That's what that is right there. But I don't see any fishes. That's beautiful though. This is a look at that asteroid. You know, the shape of it, the impact craters. That's cool. Yeah. You gonna push to Twitch affiliates soon? I uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna stick with one stream a week for a little while, and you need to do seven in thirty days, so that's like two a week, really. I think that one's promising. I don't know. Um. So maybe maybe in March or maybe after that, because I wanna. 
I want to focus on my game development a bit and make sure that's all, you know, online to. So I'm looking at releasing my game in the uh, in the summer, he says in hope. Okay, I'm just going to prospect this one. What? I'm out of. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I didn't bring any limpets because. Oh, okay, can I just synthesize some? Um. Synthesis. Okay. Limpets. I cannot. Unbelievable. I am such a knob. <laughs> I didn't bring any limpets. Oh. What the hell? 14 streams a week. Yeah. Absolutely. Limpets denied. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, yeah. I don't know what is wrong with me. <laughs> That's why this game takes forever to get anything done, because I keep screwing things up. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Okay, where's the closest? Let's just filter. Um, stations. Okay, oh, I've got to go all the way back. Unbelievable. <laughs> it just takes so long just to get from one place to another. You know. Like, in, in Frontier Elite 2, the, I, I timed it. The longest distance you ever have to travel, the longest time you ever have to travel is in, in, in inhabited space is when you, when you warp to, when you hyperspace to Alpha Centauri. And it takes like two minutes to go the whole way at full speed with you know maximum time acceleration this game two minutes is a quick journey and that is the longest journey in uh, in, a, in, a, in a much older game you know, expect the older game to be more of a time waster but this this game that's the thing that always annoys me is it, it doesn't respect your time you know they have to kind of make it all work in real time because it's multiplayer I really don't think this should have been a multiplayer game. You know, I don't see what it really adds because you're this tiny part of the universe and you can't have any meaningful effect on it. Like the really hardcore players, you know, the ones who like play all day every day, who get who who are the ones who've got like elite rating in all three things in the uh, all three of these, combat, trade and explorer ranks. Um, the ones who got that, they were like uh, they could, they're the kind of people that could have a real effect on the world. But if you can't have a meaningful effect on the world, what's the point of it being multi... I mean, I suppose that you, cause you can play in wings and stuff. That's, you know... Elite Dangerous getting some fries at the drive through takes three view time hours. Yeah. Exactly, Subobatrox. You can't have time acceleration. But they could address this. They could have, like, some kind of resource that allows you to do an in-system uh, frame shift jump, like you do from one... Um, system to another. Why can't you do a short range jump like that to something somewhere else in the system? You know, maybe make it require some expensive module or like Thargoid technology or Guardians or whatever, but let it be available. You know, so you don't have to do this every time. You know, it's like it's like you're a truck simulator without the road. <laughs> Perhaps this should let you select which star systems to walk to so you can get to the nearest, get to the nearest one hot and orbital. I've only got elite in exploring, yo. <laughs> That's pretty good. How far have you been out? What's the? Have you like got any um, places? You must have places you've discovered that have your name on it out there in the void. I can get faster than this. No, I can't. Shit. Furthest with the same shit. Bloody hell! That's the center of the galaxy, isn't it? That's amazing. I've seen s s videos of what it's like out there. It's insane. There's just like, this just s sky is so full of stars. It's mad. Earth likes with your name on. Wow, that's cool. The thing I like to do is turn off flight assist so I can get a nice look at the. Uh, Oh, I should actually request docking. Access granted. Please 
Cleared for landing on docking bay one eight. Especially with flight assist off, it doesn't sort of try to automatically correct your trajectory. So you just, you just, unless you're applying thrust, you just drift in the direction you were going. Which is kind of. <laughs> just got buzzed. Earthlex with your name on too, Suburban Fox. That's cool. That's really cool. I found a. Found uh, eighteen. I think I found a water world with my name on it. I bookmarked it. <laughs> See if I can do this landing. Not like an idiot. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Anyone you walk away from. Never went as far as Sagittarius. Oh, Hutton Orbital is the station Alpha Centauri it takes ages to get to. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, advanced maintenance. Restock. Limpets. I don't know why it's in this little menu. <sighs> so what time is it? Yeah, it's been an hour and I've got nothing done. <laughs> it's like unbelievable. I just... <laughs> I've lost five million credits or whatever. Blew up a ship. I went to a went to mine without any limpets. What am I doing? Why am I entering the hangar? Damn it! <laughs> a star click and Ritu have followed me here. Um, sorry, <laughs> I'm just going back straight out again. Um. <laughs> oh, look at that orca on the left there. How cool is that? Whoops. Oh god. Uh, shit. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, I'm screwing up. I'm screwing up. Duh! Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that Imperial Eager in, in red. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then I and then I see something like that, and I fall in love with the game all over again. There's re two. Okay, the classic Elite D experience, exactly. Let's see if we can get some good shots. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Um, oops. Nice. <laughs> How cool is that? This vibrant red ship and my plain grey thing. <laughs> but I am hoping to get it in green soon. Okay. All right. Let's. Uh... Oops. Landing gear. Landing gear retracted. Fire the plasma board. Yeah, <laughs> ISS Patriotic, ready to escort. Okay, thank you. Okay, where are we going? Uh, wait, I've got to. Ready to engage. Now I could always head to a, a system without. Um... Oh wait, I need to unset the filters. Okay, so which 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 one was it again? That I want to check out. Uh, one of these. Yeah, let's do the other one because we already did that one. Okay. Hmm. Still a lot I haven't done this game. I touched power play for a little bit. That's this whole like uh, sort of getting involved in the galactic powers and sort of trying to do stuff. But again, you have such a minimal influence. No, I really, I really do think this this, this game is like fifty percent the most perfect game that I've ever played, and I want to play it forever. And fifty percent, why? You know, why would you do it that way? I, I just, oh. 
it's just like half the time the game just make um, I want to spend my whole life in the game, and the, the other half the time I'm like I can't understand why I play it. She says you for a few months I was the leader of the Patriots faction. Wow. Okay, but you put a lot of time and effort into it, right? Like, wait, what does that mean? How do you like like you had your own system? Like a player player own system? Is that a thing? I know this, but the, 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 the connection between the, like, it's all very tenuous and confusing. I don't really understand, like, I think the game's just too, too something for me. I don't, I don't know, I feel like I'm out of touch with, with the way this game works and, like, you know, I, uh, uh. Liv Patrice being an MPO is the human organizing everyone in the faction. Okay. So a faction like a like a squadron is that like is that the thing in the game? Look, well, oh, hi Ruti. <laughs> okay, slow down a bit. Everyone subs to the power. <laughs> okay. Power play is one of the things that put me off the game. Engineers were the other one. Engineers has improved a bit since the old days. That makes it's, it's not as obnoxious as it was, um, but it's kind of optional, you know. Like so, it's like a power play. And another thing, I kind of really like the exploration in this game, but it's also just slow, slow. You know, it's it's just and there's not enough to do in the downtime. Let's just scan the ring. Somewhere. Okay, platinum hotspot. Mm, not too interesting. Rod Plum site. There we go. Remember our old friend Rod Plum site? This is where I'm heading. I didn't see what that said. I need an audiobook run out explore, otherwise I get cabin fever. Yeah. That's the thing, I put on a YouTube video, right? Like a three hour YouTube video, and then it's like. It's... But I always feel like I'm wasting my time. You know, I feel like I should do something better. Like, there's so many games I could be playing, and I don't mean to just play this game just to trash talk it. I'm just, I just, I, just, I want it to be. I, I don't know. I don't know. I should just shut up about that. <laughs> I don't know. I want to like it. I really want to. You know, I was in love with Frontier Elite 2. but that felt like, like it felt like you were. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I really don't. Okay. Oh, looks like I jumped out a bit early. Okay. <laughs> 60 kilometers away. I'll get there. That's fine. It just looks like dust at this range. But that's cool. Look, you can see the other... Um, the other planet, just through the, uh... Oops. <laughs> just trying to get a nice shot there and screwed it up. Yeah. <laughs> but for a while too, he's going to get frustrated, it wasn't good as I hoped, yeah. Oh, you know, I could just... Fell into Mass Effect and it's everything I wanted Elite to be, yeah. But Mass Effect is it doesn't have the same kind of open world, does it? Or does it? Like am I am I misunderstanding what Mass Effect is? It's, it's like an RPG, it's pretty linear, right? I mean it's as close closer to Skyrim, I guess. I don't know. Okay, yeah, this is taking too long. I, I this is my fault. I, I jumped out way too early. <laughs> I just turn off flight assist. That doesn't it doesn't go any faster. You, another thing that's really annoying in this game is the sort of arbitrary speed limits, which don't make any sense. Much more engaging storyline, politics, and ethics, and real characters. Yeah, I should really play it. It was in the running to be a. If a Steam record jump for the win. Oh, is that what you did? <laughs> I should probably do that. Okay. Let's do that. <laughs> it's gonna. It's gonna. Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, that works. Good call, Ritu. Um, don't stress out, Jim. It's fun hanging out either way. Cool. I have noticed I'm a bit... My priorities don't seem to be straight anymore. It's like... I don't know. I'm worrying too much about being entertaining and stuff, and it's really... I think it's just it's just about... Make, you know, having fun with it. It's the important thing. Okay, that one looks promising. And I do appreciate you all hanging out. It's uh it's a great deal of fun. Okay. Cause I was surprised by um when I was playing that game Millennium 2.2, um that sort of moon base strategy game, uh, sort of base, you know, base management game. I was thinking, oh god, this is not, this is not interesting. No one was going to want to see that. But a few people said that it was really quite engaging. Oh, this one has a core. Found it, found it first time. Oh, excellent. Okay, I'm not even going to mine off the other bits. I'm just going to blow up this. Okay, seismic charge. Okay, so you, you fire these charges at these fissures. That's this one's average strength. So basically, you've got to you see the, the the display in the top in the top right. You've got to get the detonation yield in the middle, uh, in the blue area. And you do that by targeting these fissures. Um, if you get it too high then it, da it it destroys a lot of the resources. If you get it too low, it doesn't open up enough of them. So this one is average strength. Let's just put a full strength one in here. Now that should hopefully bump it up quite a bit. Okay, good. I've got 71 seconds to detonation. Should be good. This one's high strength. Okay, let's get a bit closer. I should turn on my ship lights. Uh, I always forget how to do things. No. There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, another fissure. There's one. We might not have any more to use. Okay, this is average strength. I'm going to put an average and medium strength yield shot into this. Okay, optimum yield reached. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to back off. Okay. Flight assist off. And then we're just going to stand back and watch the fireworks. Where's uh, where's everyone else? <laughs> I don't see anyone. I guess they've backed off. Oh, there you are. I see you there. <laughs> yeah. Brace yourselves. This is going to be a big one. Blow it all up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? You go from like this tiny little mining laser to be able being able to blow these things into pieces. So now, boom. Get the collector limpets going. Whoops. <laughs> so there should be some fragments just fly, just that come off from that. But uh, if you guys want to uh, get some of this, feel free. <laughs> um, I don't know how that. Oh, damn it. Okay. So you basically this expo exposes all these chunks. And you just blast them off. But I think you guys already outfitted for combat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Why at least collect Olympics expire? I don't know what happened. Fair enough. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you if you don't have any limpets, you can always just grab one. Uh, 
Thing is, unless you have a, uh, unless you, do, unless you have a mining, um, what's it? Uh, uh, a refinery. It won't do you any good. Okay. So let's check that out. The painite uh, is worth eighty-seven thousand. So I think that's worth it. I still haven't recovered the cost of my ship, but hopefully I will. Okay. Okay, there's a chunk. It's really dusty here. Now, sorry, I made a mess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Ritu. <laughs> I'll try not to hit you with my rubbish mining abrasion blaster. Uh, let's see. This one is over here. Okay, this is obscured. I'm going to need to go around. Oh, I'm about to hit something. <laughs> cool. Is there another one around here? Just select them from here, it's easier. There we go. Yeah, that's behind as well. Move there. <laughs> I don't say so myself. When you don't use the flight assist, you can just. What the hell? Oh, it's music. It's like a phone call. Damn it. I'm gonna put out another collect limpet. I haven't heard this music before. Damn it, where was that? Okay. Is just one more left? To break off? There it is. <laughs> There's the limpet. Did I get it? Yeah, I think I did. Okay. Cool. Look at him go, collecting all this stuff. <laughs> I do like this game ultimately I just I just I, I wish I, I wish I was young again I wish I had the time I had in my like teens and 20s if I was a teenager in my early 20s playing this I would put dump so much time into it and I would be like some obsessive player you know just uh... Jim has been squishing his limpet again what the hell was that Are you guys firing plasma accelerators? <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Flight assist off. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> okay. What time is it? Twenty past. Okay. So I feel like I've just got started, and it's already been an hour and a half. I was thinking of doing some Unreal Tournament after the after the session. What do you guys think of that? Are you up for a bit of Unreal Tournament a bit later? What the hell? What are you shooting at? <laughs> That's fine. Wait a minute, did I collect all the stuff? No, I didn't. Shit! There's a whole load of it just, flat, just, just around there. Damn it. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? There it is. No, that's that's a limpet. Okay, there's the there's the stuff. There's no valid collection targets. What the hell? Oh, is it because you guys have been collecting it? Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Oh, your limpets are... Yeah, I see them flying around. Okay. Okay, cool. 
All right. You say bring it on. <laughs> Halloween first. Forties is the new twenties. That's true. We don't have sticks. Welcome to the uh, and Alduin first. Welcome to the stream. Sorry, I missed that. What was that? I've been busy collecting. That's fine. That's fine. Um. Yeah, I was gonna do some uh, Unreal Tournament soonish. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, let's just mess around for a little bit more in Elite. Say at least ten minutes. But would you be interested in seeing more of this, or should I move on to something else for the next stream? Do you think? Or would this should this be a regular thing? I don't know. I might just play it on occasion when I feel like not playing anything too taxing. I mean, part of me is thinking like I shouldn't really like should go sell this stuff before we go share the profit. Oh, good idea. Yes, that's how that works when you're in a a wing. Yeah, I'm just gonna prospect this. Let's see if it has anything. Good. Ah, <laughs> this, did someone bump me? <laughs> what? <laughs> this one has a core as well. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the mother load, two in one go. Oh my god. Okay, I've got to bust this one. Come on. There's no way I can let this go. Okay, this one is low strength. If I just put one big one into this, it should do a lot for the... Okay, yeah. So... That face when, even that feel when. FTW? TFW? Is that that feel when or that face when? Uh, yeah, mining is much better than it used to be. Nearly dangerous. Okay. There's another fissure there. That one is average strength. Okay. We're now we're getting chat messages when I'm when I need to concentrate on what I'm doing. <laughs> one sec. I'll be with you shortly. Okay, that one's low strength. We need a low okay, there's a different one. Let's get this fissure. That one's high strength. Alright, let's put a medium one into that. Damn it, not quite optimum. Okay, that one's low. Let's put a low charge. Okay, optimum yield. Good. Alright. Let's see what we got. Greeting Stickhead. Great channel there. Yes, yeah, Stickhead does have a great channel. Joy of Sticks, uh, your Atari ST gaming channel. Um, if I was a kid in this age, I'd be even more confused than I was. Hmm. Oh wait, I missed a, I missed a, I missed a comment. One sec. <laughs> oh, Joy of Sticks. You don't need a fancy controller, but one of these is is adequate. An Xbox 360 controller or, or similar. Um, Elegant mechanic. Love this game, but I play strictly solo because I'm rubbish at combat. So I basically just try a space taxi. Yeah, I'm. I've, if you if you were here earlier, and you saw I'm rubbish at combat too. <laughs> Yeah, I, I very rarely play in open play because I don't like fighting real people because I'm rubbish. Um, yeah, the keyboard and mouse is okay, but I think there's no substitute for a controller. Like, um, oh wait a minute, I should probably get my collectors going. Okay, free for all, Rita. If you want some of this. <laughs> game does have so much great atmosphere. It's pretty cheap now, um, I think. You can get it on sale for like five quid. Uh, damn it. Okay. Alright. Those were already active. Cool. Cool. <laughs> damn it. I don't know why they break so much. They must just bump into shit. Yeah, the thing is about this game, 
is it does take a lot of time. Incredibly dangerous not long after it came out. <sighs> Couldn't do combat on the controller. An ancient joystick and it was better than that. If you want a decent stick. Yeah, I mean, I've seen these kind of setups people have where they have like these really cool like, you know, multi-monitor setups or stuff like that where it's... Damn it. Where's all the bits at? Have I lost them? <laughs> okay, there's some. Just gonna do this. Flight assist off. Just turn off flight assist. I can fly in a different direction than I'm facing. Plus Games has an extremely hot ass already. Very funny. <laughs> yeah. For those who don't know, a HOTAS is the is a control mechanism. The last joystick I had was the Wingman Light in the mid nineties, the poor kid's version of the Wingman stick. <laughs> nice. Okay, there's one more. Flight assist on. Oh. Hi there, Ritu. Really close by. <laughs> Do you, Ritu? <laughs> That's cool. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Like, <laughs> hey Jimmy, have you heard about Starbound? It's like my, I have, we played Starbound. Uh, we did, uh, we did. Freddie and I did streams on it um, and uh, some videos. I think streams, maybe just a video when it first came out. Oh, damn, collect Olympic expiration expires quicker than unpasteurized milk. Flight assist off. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, that was almost so cool. There we go. That was, yeah, that was almost cool. I haven't got any collect Olympics going. Warthog Hotess, if you want to Google it. Okay, I made it sometime. TIE Fighter. Okay, yeah, I'm missing some stuff in the chat here. There's some good chat going on. I have an old joystick I used to play TIE Fighter with. Cool. Hotess is hands on throttle and stick. Okay, that makes sense. I have played Terraria. I could never really get into it. Um, I don't know why, it just sort of never really captured my imagination. I also do digital painting using a mouse and just weird like that. That's cool, that's cool. I can do pixel art sort of with a mouse because I, I, I've never got the hang of a drawing tablet. Um, but yeah, all right, I'm, I'm all filled up on shit. So uh, yeah, I'm good to go. So I'm going to head back to Homer Hub or whatever it was called and uh, there's two little bits of platinum left but I'll let you guys get them. And uh, yeah. Damn it, let's just do this. Stations. Homer Hub. Wait, we should actually check whether it's a refinery because then we should really go to somewhere that's a refinery for maximum economy industrial industrial what about this one agriculture these ones are really far out industrial 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 hmm well let's just go to this one then they'll still take it might not get as much money but screw it Oh yeah. Deepcom mining is fun. Looks and sounds fantastic, but ordinary mining is more profitable, is it? But the the stuff you get, like the like low temperature diamonds and void opals, those are insane. Like I think maybe they've rebalanced it since. I don't remember. But yeah, welcome to the stream, Viking. Uh, Jim, there is a creepy little grey alien or baby ghost head poking to the edge of your webcam display. What? Oh that! That's my <laughs> That's my uh, that's my mic. Damn it! <laughs> Just move it out of the way there. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, where am I going? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Spooky alien mic. Yeah. Hello, Steve Fusion X. Welcome to the stream. Damn it! I'm actually missing. Uh, I'm missing things. <laughs> I 
Um, yeah, Steve Fusion X. How's uh, how goes the game development of Okinawa Rush? Looking forward to that coming out. Yeah, so when you do um, when you're in a wing, you get like increased bonuses for trading and selling stuff and things like that. So I think that should uh, should be worth doing before we finish up here. Steve Fusion X. My brother used to play this game. He nearly lost his job as he thought the in-game clock was the real-life clock. Well, isn't it? It is for me. Look up there. 1929, 55, 56. That is the real game time. I mean, if you're in the same time zone, I guess. Is it not... Does it not... Universe? I guess it can't be, can it? So, like, it's, it's UK time. It must be. But it's not... Um, it must be, it must, you know, it must always be UK time in, but not for where, yeah, I think you know what I mean. Yeah, really good. The Moggit event was some amazing feedback. Oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah, it shows GMT. That's why. Cause, so if you're not at GMT, it's not the right time. But if you are at GMT, it is. So. Maybe it's showing UTC, right. Does it have daylight savings time? Does the galaxy have daylight savings time? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> I can't actually see. My mic is in the way now. That I've moved it out of the way of myself. It's just still slightly in the way there. Okay. <laughs> I do like that most of the planets in the system have have ring systems. That's really cool. Galaxy does not have daylight savings. Okay, so that means that the time will be one hour out once we do change over to whichever way around it is. Daylight savings so stupid. It's like it doesn't do any good. Like it, the, the, the what ship am I flying? I'm flying a Python. Just a pretty standard Python. I called it Starbug. I'm um, using it for mining. Um, and uh, I'm hoping to be able to get enough of the premium currency. Ox to uh, to make it green because the green color is on sale. A bunch of other, other a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, apparently the one of the uh, possibilities for the new expansion is space legs, so you'd actually be able to walk around inside this station, like maybe even in that ring there, that habitation ring. How cool would that be? <laughs> Okay. Oh, I should actually request docking. I always forget to do that. You can buy skins with in-game currency now. Yes, you can earn. Not it's 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 sort of so the arcs the currency that you use to buy things you can. Whoa, careful there. <laughs> um, pad forty one. Uh, basically, you earn it by doing certain actions in game. <laughs> Read two. You're drunk. Okay, which which bloody platform am I, uh, thing am I at? Okay. Um, so much room of space legs. Yeah, but there's been some some stuff released that suggests it. Like there's some 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 concept art that shows the inside of some ships. You'd think they wouldn't be stupid enough to release that unless they were actually you know teasing for it. Because then all they're going to do is disappoint people. I mean, another possibility is landing on atmospheric planets, but that's what I'd really want to see. But, yeah, I have to do the stupid turnaround now. Elite Dangerous looks amazing and never looks it. It is, it is, it is kind of amazing, but also kind of annoying. You know? It's, it's, it doesn't respect your time. That's the main problem. Um, it really is like a, like a simulator. You know, it's not... You know, you end up spending a lot of time just traveling from place to place, and because space is big and empty, a lot of that is not too interesting. Okay. Ah, yes, Re you profit share. Excellent. That's great. Hello, Tomo. Welcome to the stream. Okay. 
Now we'd make more money if we sold it at a refinery, but screw it. You, know, it's, you, you can spend a lot of time min-maxing and it's like... The real currency is time, you know. So if it takes you like a really long time to get to a... Wait, is that it? Wasn't there more than that? No, I guess that was it. Okay. So what's my money at now? Two and a half, two, nearly three million. It's not too much. Yeah, it really takes a lot to to make money, and I just wasted so much of it just on my ship rebuy cost. Oh man. But yeah, it, it's it does look amazing. You know, it's it's an incredible screenshot generator. <laughs> um, if nothing else. If you're after the money, you need to do ordinary mining. Do you mean like, um, like, not? But the thing is, I, when I last checked, the core mining was the most lucrative. Was it not anymore? Has that changed? But yeah, I'm not really like too concerned with making a ton of money. I just want to enjoy the time I'm spending in game. I don't want to, you know, necessarily just a little sidewinder there. That's the thing, you know, like, you can get too caught up in the game loop and... Yeah, and this... Uh, you know, and, and not worry... And, and, and forget why you're playing. You know, which is to enjoy the experience, not to get the most numbers of a thing. But yeah. No, this game, um... You're above me. Oh. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's cool. Um... Yeah, but the number, Jim. I know. Got to get the numbers to be higher. Need more digits. The numbers. <laughs> okay. Um, so. Yeah, what, what was uh, surface mining with mining lasers? Really? It's back to mining lasers? That's crazy. That's crazy. I can't believe it's come to that. Anyway. <laughs> ah, I guess I could try it. How many credits do I have? I have uh, 2.8 million. Not very much, but it's fine. I might do some exploration next time. That's quite fun. There's a whole new system for the way you scan. Uh, you, where you scan systems. I mean, you can take both. Oh, right, I see what you mean. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Oh, right. Sorry, I'm mixing you up. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to look into it. 32 million for me. Oh, good for you. <laughs> yeah, some of the... Like, the most expensive ships you can get are insane. Like the Anaconda. 146 million credits. And uh, something that is coming later is fleet carriers. So you can have player-owned, like, enormous ships, which basically work like mobile space stations that you can dock with. And Yeah, I don't, they're going to cost billions of credits, I expect. Um, but yeah, you cannot get a panther clipper, I'm afraid. Um, I don't think they'd fit in the uh, <laughs> in the docking ports or the landing bays. Uh, but you can get a different kind of clipper. Um, 335 million for Starcloak. Whatever, 1 billion. At the, wow. But then you bought the Corvette. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm thinking we're going to do some Unreal Tournament now. So, if you'd like to join... Uh, there's a link in the Discord, which is um, below the stream, and uh, you can join. You can find the uh, the address. Imperial Clipper. Ah, that's what Starcloak and Ritu are flying. Get a free anaconda at Hutton Orbital. I don't want a free anaconda. Welcome to the stream, Zerstuen. Um I don't want a free anaconda. I want to earn it. You know. Anyway, yeah. Let's do some Unreal Tournament. Link in the Discord in the description. And, uh, yeah, let's see if I can switch this around without screwing everything up. One moment. Oh, shit, before I go, I wanted to check on whether I can get the... the thingy, the green ship. Ah, oh, I can't. I only got 10 arcs. I needed, like, 379. So, yeah, you see at the top it says total rewards from previous session. 10. Um, so you can, you know, you can use... 
you can get paint jobs and stuff, but yeah, it's like, where's the green one I wanted? Because I'm calling this ship Starbug, so I wanted it to be green. 372. I'm three away! Okay, I'm going to have to play this a bit later to, to get some more arcs so I can afford this. But yeah. <laughs> okay. It was fun to fly with you, uh, Ritu and Starcloak. Also, 07. Okay, I'm going to switch momentarily to this. And then switch games. Okay. Whoops. So, hoping some of you will want to join us in Unreal Tournament. Should I change the game name in the stream? I probably should. Edit stream info. Excuse me one moment. Pew pew time, yes indeed. Here we go. Unreal Tournament mode engaged. Let's play. Alright, this is the assault map, which is basically like a. Uh, should probably wait for a few people to join. We only have Dreddy and me in at the moment. <laughs> Anyone else joining? Maybe I should announce it in Discord. One moment. We need as many players as possible. So that we can all shoot each other with lasers. Damn it. Discord on my phone is not very efficient. Okay. Here we go. Alright, it's just me and Dreddy for now. But that's fine. <laughs> One-on-one -on -one assault mode. Oh. Yeah, that's the big gun. Ah, uh, SQ Ron is in. Excellent. Damn it, the attackers have breached the boiler room. The attackers meaning Dreddy. Hey there. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yes! With two health remaining. <laughs> this is so unfair. Oh my god, this is the worst. <laughs> so many enforcers. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to cheap carry this time. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. I've listened too loud. It seems a bit loud on the elite. Uh, let me know if uh, it's too loud. Oh, ask you, Ron. You're on my side. Okay, this is unfair. We need someone else. We need another team player. Team member. Yeah, spawn kills. Exactly. So I think I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> Game order is a bit loud. Okay, one moment. Hopefully that's better. You want to hear my evil chuckles? <laughs> well, if I'm going to chuckle some more, I need more players, damn it. Come on. Okay. Dreddy did it. She killed us all. Long range cannon. 
disabled. <laughs> ah. I would love to join, but I'm busy making pretty checklists for my comic collections, says Joysticks. That's cool. What comics are you collecting? We should probably do a, like, uh, deathmatch or something with three players. It's not really feasible to do a team-on-team -team thing. I'm gonna vote for a, uh... I'm gonna bring up a vote thingy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, no. Okay, let's uh, deathmatch pyramid. That's a good one. Damn it! <laughs> the mortar's got me. I gotta actually watch for that. I don't know. He's. Water's coming in from above. Okay. Ah, good. Pyramid is one. I'm only trying to f fill out many mi missing issues in my Ms. Marvel vs. Okay. Cool. I'm afraid I don't know too much about comics. My brother collects them, but I never really got into them too much myself. Most of my comic lore comes from like animated series and. Um, movies and such. <laughs> now unfortunately I am running this stream at 30 frames per second because because that was the best frame rate, uh, most reliable frame rate I could get in Elite Dangerous, and I figured it would be better to have the higher bit rate on fewer frames. So I hope this is relatively watchable um, uh, for you, despite the low frame rate. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Stream is great. Good, thanks. Boot a session with 2000 AD too, but there are too many to collect, so I just pick certain story rounds. Yeah, there's just there's so much to collect in all comics, isn't there? It's just like it's insane. Health. Gotta get in on the kidding. Where are ya? There you are. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I really do like the shot rifle. It's probably not the most effective, but it, I do enjoy the laseriness of it. And the pulse rifle, but. This is good for pushing people off the off the edge. I still need to get some of the mods working. But... Damn it! <laughs> yeah, not too super effective. I keep forgetting you can go off down the side here. Oh no! I just thought there was another layer. I just ran off. Uh. Oh. Okay. I thought I saw some power up in there. Where is everyone? By everyone, I mean both of you. <laughs> yeah! I hear a chainsaw. <laughs> Someone's angry. It's quite a bit more fast paced than. Uh... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> the dangerous was. Lull indeed. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Great, everyone. 
Nobody wants to play with me. Or do they? Playing this at the end of the stream is really not good for my KD ratio. It's just not very good. <laughs> Again, if you want to join, check the link in the Discord. Oh, we have an Arcturus Deluxe has joined. Excellent. Welcome, Arcturus. <laughs> Is everyone here a robot? I think we're all robots. God, that, sh that thing is so rubbish. Give me the chainsaw any day. Damn it! Yeah, give me that. Oh! Look at that floating chunk. Oh. <laughs> Double kill. Simultaneous kill. <laughs> Get the headshot. Get the headshot. Oh, there's a rocket launcher over here. I keep forgetting about it. Ah! Damn. Chiris is... It's almost beat in the top spot, despite having joined late. No. Dead body. Oh no, he's got the quad damage thingy! Oh! Rifle. Oh. <laughs> snot gun. Eat my snot. Hit shit! Yeah! Damn! I can't tell who anyone is because everyone has the same character model. <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> That's what I get for trying to be fancy. Yeah. Rocket launch is probably the best actual weapon in terms of real effectiveness. Oh damn it. And speaking of which, just got picked up by whoever that is. Ready. <laughs> she killed me with it. Proving my point with my death. <laughs> Yeah! I can't even see what's happening. Five health! Damn it! <laughs> I was going the crossfire. Oh dear. Damn it, I suck. Except when I don't. <laughs> no, 
It's <laughs> firing blind here. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, I thought I was dead. But not quite. Shit at the floor where they're standing. <laughs> I love that. You have to stand still to make it well, I have to stand still to make it work. It's very effective when it does work. Yeah. Like I said, if anyone wants to join, check the Discord. Oh yeah. Four's a good number. We can get a good game. We've got a good game going here. That's somewhat interesting to watch. It's kind of just a bit of end of stream carnage, really. Clean, cleanse the palette, sort of thing. And an opportunity to play with the, the community, which is always nice. So yeah, I could have had a Minecraft server, you know. But who wants, who wants to mine and craft when you can shoot and kill? I want to play shoot kill, <laughs> not Minecraft. <laughs> This would have been a game of the decade in the 90s. Absolutely. Damn that quad damage or double damage or multiple damage thingy that whatever it is. <laughs> so unfair. Damn you up, Jerus. Where'd you go? Close. Good job, SQ Ron. <laughs> Tibuto. I never read any serious comics, but Tune Hubbard did from Nemesis the Warlock. Rob Hubbard is a genius. Last VA tune. Last of Avari is raiding! How exciting! That's cool. Thank you for the raid, Last of Avari. Much appreciated. Um, if you want to join the game, uh, the Unreal Tournament game, then yeah. That's cool. That's cool. It's appreciated. Um, if you want to join the Unreal Tournament game, there's a link in the Discord. Uh, I can't remember if you're on the Discord. Uh, but if you want to join, if you have Unreal Tournament, and if you, if you would like to, feel free. Nice one. Dragon Age Origins, that's that's a hell of a game. I have to replay that. I played it, like, years ago when it first came out. It would be a good game to, to revisit. <laughs> now, I thought I had, uh... I thought I'd set up the thing that shows a notification when someone raids, but apparently it didn't work. So I still need some troubleshooting with that. Oh no, I know why not. I didn't add it to this scene. The Unreal Tournament scene doesn't have the notification thing. So that's too bad. <laughs> At least I know why. Uh, oh dear, is that... Oh no, I thought that was toxic for a minute. FFFFFFFXD. Indeed. I'm on fire. ZX Specky, welcome to the stream. I'm afraid you're just here for the very end. I mean, I'm presuming you came in the raid. Uh, but yeah, not too much longer on the stream left, just doing the little end of stream Unreal Tournament gaming, which is the thing for some reason. And I am sucking big time. I am not good. Oh, this is fun. 
the pressure the pressure pressure chamber. I remember this. Basically, if someone's in there, uh, when when you activate the pressure pressurizing thing, then they just they swell up and explode. Damn it! Shot me in the back. Should really check my six. Ah uh, yes. Is that, the, is that the chamber? No, here it is. Let's go in and grab the shit. Hopefully no one will kill me while I'm in here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's the pressure chamber. If someone's in there. 15, 20 years ago I was playing Quake 1, 2, 3, yeah. I never played the Quake games very much, it was always Unreal Tournament for me. But... I actually never played a Quake game, can you believe that? I played Quake 3 Arena, but I never played the like the single player ones. Uh, you know, the... Quake 1 and 2. Probably should. Probably should do that from the channel. Quake 4 on the N64, wow. That's playing on hard mode. <laughs> Oh, what a shot. What a lucky shot. <laughs> oh, Jairus. Run away. <laughs> and then run back. Oh, dear, he's got the bell. Aha! Wasn't enough. Oh, oh! <laughs> See if I can grab the. Uh, where is it? The pressurized. What's it? It's worth the risk just for the fun. Here it is. Actually, you know it'll be fun. Oh, you almost got me! You almost got me! <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn it. I think I killed myself. <laughs> I'll just hide out here and wait for someone to do it. Uh, nah, everyone's got the same idea. <laughs> of course, you can probably tell what I'm doing on stream, so, you know, you could. You can come, whenever I go in there, you can come and get me. It's not the ideal platform for it, yeah. Uh, four player action on one console, one TV, one copy of the game. Yeah, that's pretty good. Tiny, tiny split screen stuff going on, right? I never had an N64, but I heard that, like, GoldenEye was a very, very popular game. You know, first person multiplayer GoldenEye stuff was pretty good. But I'm guessing it's one of those games that has not aged well in the age of first person shooters. I'm going for it. He's going for it! Get out! Yes! Too slow, Chicken Morango! Too slow for this cat! <laughs> Jumping around, shooting... I'm, I'm gonna run away. I got shot in the back. That's what happens when you run away. Pressurization commencing. Your head will explode shortly. Only ammo, none of the guns. Where are the guns at? Oh, I heard the beep. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> Running at you with a chainsaw and I get a rocket in the face. Small quarter of a CRT. N64's anti hazing yeah. That sounds great. God, that was tons of fun. That's a big reason why my first trip to uni was fruitless. <laughs> That's a good reason. It could be worse. <laughs> Damn it. I'm at the bottom of the table. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oops. Try that again. Come on. There we go. I 
and trying to just say, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, got you both. Oh. That's what I get for camping there. Two enforcers. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, this game's silly. Oh, armor. You be dead. You be dead. Really? Thanks for letting me know. Oh. Chainsaw is too much fun. I don't care if I die. As long as I die the way I lived, with a chainsaw in my hand. <laughs> oh, in the back! A chance it. Stucker. Got it. This thing with quad damage should be pretty cool if I can find anybody. Aha, I see explosions. Oh! <laughs> I managed to kill you with the double quad whatever damage and a pulse rifle. Going away from gunshots, that's not good. Oh! <laughs> oh. I enjoy this the chainsaw too much. I know gaming made me into the person I am also. I wish I would have taken more care of my avatar in real life during those years. Yeah. But, what are you going to do? <laughs> Mistake's only a mistake, really, if you don't learn from it. And, uh, yeah, I, I guess I've not learned from it, because I'm spending my time playing video games. But I don't, I don't consider it time wasted. If you enjoy the time, it wasn't a waste. That's also why I think. Look at this bin. It's just a recycling bin right here. With nothing in it. These guys are not recycling the gibbs. Good job, SQ Ron. <laughs> I think I'm gonna call it been two hours. It's been a good time. We had fun. Um but yeah. I think it was a good session. A good sesh of killing and blowing up asteroids as well. You had 30 frags, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been great. Thank you all for joining. And uh, I won't be here next week. I won't be here next Saturday, but I will the Saturday after. I'm going, I'm getting away, I'm going to over the hills and far away uh, for, for, a, for a weekend away. And then I'm coming back. And yeah. Uh, so. I'll be on Discord, I'll be on YouTube and so on, and yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.